All right, hello and welcome to this lesson on creating a maze. What we're going to be doing is adding in a plane and creating a maze out of it. I'm going to show you how to subdivide the object with the W key to create the maze. And then we're going to go in and color the maze in two different colors. If you're in my class, go ahead and go to File and Save As. And you're going to go to your Blender folder and name your file maze.blend. So you want to save it as maze.blend in your Blender folder. Okay, to get started, what we're going to be doing is adding in our plane. So you're going to go to Add Mesh and select Plane. And then what you're going to do is hit S to size it, and then type in 10 and press Enter. And that'll be the size of our plane. And when you do that, what I want you to do is hit P. And the P key will play the game. And you should it should look like this, where you can see the plane. If you hit P and you don't see anything, like that, that means yours is upside down and you need to redo it. Okay, go ahead and right click the cube and let's delete that object. Next thing, select the plane and we're going to subdivide it. So to do that we have to go into edit mode. So select edit mode. If you try to do it in object mode it won't work. So go into edit mode, you're going to press W and you're going to select subdivide multi. And the number of cuts we're going to do is 15. So go up to 15 cuts. The more cuts you have here, the more little faces you will have on your plane. And the more you can subdivide it and for like uh, paths, pathways and stuff. So let's do 15. Click OK. We'll see all of our little faces. And then to get started, we're going to click on the triangle here that says face select mode and you'll see that everything is selected. What we're going to do is we're going to hold shift and we're going to deselect where we want our path to be on our maze. So the gray part is going to be the path and the pink purple color is going to be the walls. We're going to extrude that up after we're done. So go ahead and create a path for yourself. I'm going to do that as quickly as possible here. Go ahead and leave all the outside walls selected. And that way you can't get out. Remember this is this maze is going to be for like a Pac-Man game. So there's no escaping. It'll be slightly different than the Pac-Man game, but... Alright, so for the sake of time, I'm going to leave it like that. Go ahead and take your time on this part. Um, select the floor. Make sure you have a good maze that you can go through. I may add a few things. Alright. You're going to hold the middle mouse button down. And while you hold it down, move your mouse. And you want to kind of view it from the side. What we're going to do is we're going to extrude up the walls. So you press E. Select Region and then press 2 and then enter and that's going to raise up our walls here as you can see and then our next thing we're going to do is we're going to add color to our maze so we're going to go to the editing box or F you can hit F9 to get there and you're going to click new and you're going to pick a material for your walls 
Okay, so I've got like a light blue for the walls. Now what we need to do is select our floors and give our floors a color. So to do that, you're going to select the first part of the floor and then hold shift down. And you're going to select the rest of the floor. And if you select one you don't want, all you do is right click it again while you're holding shift and it'll become deselected. So once you have your floor selected you click new under material and it'll say material 2 of 2 and you pick a different color and then you have to click the assign button and that'll assign the color to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going here And the next time I do that, see how it says 2 material 1? You have to left click on the triangle here so that it'll turn to material 2, the yellow color. And then you have to click assign there. By default, when you start selecting these, it'll go back to material 1. So you have to make sure that it's on material 2. And you kind of have to tilt this so that you can see what you're selecting. And go from different angles. But you're going to continue this and you're going to select your floor. You want to select all of your floor. And click assign. I'm going to finish this off. Let's see. And then once you are done with this, you're going to save it. Remember, if you use the period button, you can always zoom in on a selected face. And then when you rotate, it'll rotate around that face. That's the period on your number pad. And it looks like I have one more. And there we go. You always want to make sure that your blue arrow is pointing up. Okay? And we have the basis for our maze. So once you're done with that, if you're in my class, go to File and Save. Save your maze.blend. And that's it. You are done with Part 1.